Red Barn is a 501c3 nonprofit agency, and we let children and adults who have physical, cognitive, and emotional disabilities, as well as those who are at risk and have special circumstances, learn to work with horses. Their sign says faith, hope, and love, and I think that that's what their whole goal and purpose is. I, I've had so many people tell me how they drive onto the property and they just relax. Everybody has such a giving spirit and everybody's so genuinely happy to be here. It make, it just You can't be in a bad mood and be here. You want, they want to develop a relationship and you learn how to care for the horse and not just, you know, let's just go ride. You know, you actually you know, get to you know, groom the horse, talk to the horse. It's the relationship that that student builds with the horses and being able to see the progress that they make through therapeutic riding that you can see in no other avenues. You know, even if they don't get on a horse, but can brush them and paint them and, you know, help them the stall and, you know, just the excitement that the barn brings, especially a child that may have some differences. It just, the joy it brings to them and this, the comfort and the security of the safe place her nickname is Suki. Her therapy lesson incorporated a lot of hippotherapy skills. And so we use the movement of the horse to gain as much input so we can give her as much stimulation as we can. And then I incorporate speech therapy skills into that too. I've been an autism professional since 2007. When I first met Reed, he was just this little boy who you could tell he had so much that he wanted to get out and he couldn't. Since he started riding here, he has had more leadership and more confidence and he leads these horses and when they don't do what he wants, he uses his words and his body to get them to do what he wants. Brammy is six years old, is adopted from the Philippines. After he was here for a few months, we learned that he was hearing impaired, so he got hearing aids and we started down the road of speech therapy and I didn't know if he could ride or not and it's amazing to see you know the strength he's building by riding and his speech the level of communication after he's had a lesson here is so much more significant I think for me and for my family it's allowed us to look beyond his special needs Van is developmentally delayed. It has given him a sense of identity, um, a place to be um, that's his. His speech has improved. His self-confidence has improved. You know, just everywhere in life, you know, you have to talk. You have to, to get your needs across. And, you know, a lot of that has come from here. And um, that's just been a cherry on top. On these paths, you know, you see horses and you will see trees and, and a sensory trail, but it's so much more than that. It's so much more than occupational therapy or speech or physical. It's truly a ministry and little hearts are being healed here and um, big hearts are being healed too. And you can just feel God's presence and um, just the healing and the joy and the peace and just what it does for my child. You just can't get that everywhere. And it touches everyone, not just those <laughs> that have physical needs, but, um, but all of us.